guys, Ash Director Max today in Clash Royale. Welcome to the video, guys. First off, I wanted to thank you all for the positive responses and just, just all the love on the How to Be Happy video. Certainly, when I put out content like that, I don't expect the majority of you guys to be interested, but uh, it really does mean a lot when I see all the love in the comments. And, and really, I've read all the comments, and there was uh, not one negative comment, and that is so rare on the internet and on YouTube. So again, thank you guys, uh, of those of you who watched that video and those of it, you who, uh, who it resonated with. It, it means a lot. Now, the positivity is over. It's time to get to the, the negativity today, guys, because we found out all about elite levels in Clash Royale. So how do we get elite levels? So first of all, what the heck is an elite level? It's basically the word for level 15. Actually, it is the term for the max level in Clash Royale. So it kind of gives them some wiggle room to make the elite level in the future, maybe in 2024, 2025, maybe even sooner, uh, level 16 or 17, right? It will just keep graduating to the new level will be the elite level. So how do you get it? Well, first of all, we knew that it came out to a lot of fanfare about a week or two ago and said that they will not cost gold. Elite levels will not cost gold. So I think we were all pretty excited, you know, cautiously optimistic. Okay, that's cool, right? Level 15A is not going to be tied to card evolution, right? And level 15B is not going to cost gold. I mean, that's, that's good news, right? There's no doubt about it. First of all, by the way, massive golden balls. Have you guys seen the uh, a quick side tangent? Have you seen the Royal Giant Giant card evolution? Look at this. Boom! He's got like some sort of AOE effect there in big giant uh, golden balls, as they said. Uh, man, that looks that looks really scary. Anyway, uh, back to the elite levels. So, what do you need to upgrade a card to level fifteen, aka the the elite uh, level? You get this new uh, magic item, the Elite Wild Card, from extra copies of your level 14 cards. Okay. All upgrades from level 14 to level 15 will require 50,000 Elite Wild Cards. No gold! How do you get your hands on 50,000 Elite Wild Cards, though? That sounds like a lot. It is a lot. Elite levels is not something that we expect everybody to unlock right away. And it's also the reason why we have no locked extra content behind level 15, cough, card evolution. I do want to uh, pause there and ask the obvious question. If there's no content at all locked behind it, then why have it? And I think the answer is pretty obvious too, right? Going to, getting to the elite level can be designed uh, to be a more pa or has been designed to be a more passive experience for players uh, and something that will take time rather than resources to earn. Uh, the more cards you have at level 14, the more elite wild cards you will earn. So 50,000 won't seem so daunting as you continue to level up your entire collection. Why the change to upgrading cards? We originally announced level 15 uh, in February. We fully intend to make it cost gold and cards. We intended, excuse me, to make it cost gold and cards the way that every other level works. But we saw such a vocal response against adding a new level, mainly due to the amount of gold it takes to upgrade cards to max. So we went back to the drawing board and settled on this new, more passive level up method. It's slower but it no longer requires getting lucky with card progress or saving up a huge amount of gold. All right, so don't want to wait. Elite levels can be designed to have a more passive progression, similar to Masteries. If you want to use magic items to level up your elite cards, you can. However, they are much more uh, efficiently, or effectively used, excuse me, to get your cards to level 14. Sitting on a lot of gold, you can buy cards in the shop that you already have at level 14 to get elite wild cards. Here it goes. Get ready for it. Brace yourselves, guys. Sit down. Card conversion. <laughs> All right. Well, look at the Let's start with the magic items, right? Magic item conversion. A book of cards equals 5,000 elite wild cards. Any rarity. So you would need 10 of these bad boys just to get one level up. Wow, that's a lot, that's a lot. Okay, okay, let's keep going on here. Uh, let's go to the card conversion. Go common cards, two elite wild cards. Okay, I'm not amazing at math, but that means 25,000 common cards to upgrade one card to level 15. 25,000? Okay, okay. Rare cards, 10. Epic cards, 50. Legendary cards, two. 100 elite wild cards per card. 
excess card. So if you have a max legendary and you get one, you get 200. Guys, quick math here. Quick math, right? 50,000 divided by 200 per legendary means we need 250 legendary cards to get one card maxed out. 250 legendaries. Whoa. How about champions? Again, easy math, but just to make it more dramatic, 50,000 divided by 500. We need 100 champion cards to upgrade one champion from level 14 to 15. Oh, man. Oh, man. I mean, let's just continue the exercise. 50,000 per epic cards. I need to get my hands on 1,000 epic dupes. 1,000 of them to go ahead and upgrade an epic card. And of course, rare cards, 50,000 divided by 10 per rare card. We need 5,000 dupes, 5,000 in order to upgrade one rare card from level 14 to 15. Wow. All right, guys, let's take a look at some quick community feedback here. So uh, there is some positivity. I want to start with that, right? Uh, and I asked you guys, you know, half of you guys on my last community tab poll are excited about card evolution. Half of you are not excited about it. So Maroli here is clearly excited. I really like the idea of level 15. It's a good thing for the game and especially evolved cards that came with it. Well, to be clear, they're not coming with level 15. Uh, that has nothing to do with level 15. Uh, in crowns and chests are back in 2v2 at the same time. God tier update for now. We'll see in game what's up. Okay, so some positivity there. I have nothing bad to say at all about 2v2 or chat crowns and chests coming back to 2v2. I'm sure uh, who has anything negative to say about that, right? So really looking at this glass half full. And again, half of you guys are excited about card evolution. I, I think I mentioned this in the last video, but I'm kind of riding the fence, man. I want to get in there. I want to play. I want to see how it feels. I want to see how much it, it, much it disrupts the game either in a good way or a bad way, meaning the gameplay, meaning the way it feels to actually play and compete in Clash Royale. Uh, and right now, I just don't, I don't know. You know, I, I it would be premature for me to say, yeah, it's pretty dang cool, card evolution. Or, now it sucks, it's gonna ruin the game. It's premature for me on card evolution. On this one, the elite levels, I mean, dude, that is a ridiculous cost to this. It's absurd, it's beyond absurd. It's slow grind is not even the words for it. It's just like, hey, this is gonna be in the background and eventually you might get one card maxed to the new elite level. That's kind of what it feels like to me. The problem is, is what if, what about though in the future? What if they add, right? What if they add another level and then all of a sudden level 15, like what are they gonna do with level 15? What are they, how are they gonna make room for level 16? Is it gonna be more max cards, even worse than 50,000 on top of the 50,000 to get a 16? Or is it gonna go back to gold conversion for 15 and the 16 will use elite levels or, or use the, you know, the, the whatever the heck they're called? What are they called again? Wild, elite wild cards, right? So some of the other feedback here, guys. Uh, Abdod, who's a great Clash Mini uh, YouTuber, check out his channel. I'll link it for you guys in the show notes below. Good guy. Uh, there is no way I'm gonna give the same amount of wild cards for a book of commons as a book of legendaries, please reconsider this. So he's referring to this. The book of cards, any rarity, no matter what, it's going to be 5,000 elite wild cards there, right? Uh, let's see who, what else we have here in the comments. We have uh, 50K. People are like, no way. Are you kidding me? A lot of just like memes and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Just kind of breaking down. How is this deemed more convenient? Uh, we have uh, Supra says, I have two questions. What's the point of level 15 then? And number two, the conversion seems fair, but shouldn't the book of books give something more than just 5k? Also bring back royal wild uh, chest, excuse me, for free to play. It's very hard to get champions now as a free to play. Uh, what else do we have here? We have, so what are level 16 gonna be called? Super elite, Le I just mentioned that, right? I'm not sure how that how that jives. Uh, the data says Supercell listened to the community. They removed the gold and they made the grind a thousand times longer. Um, I got nothing to say about that meme. I got nothing to say about that. 50k, is this a joke? Uh, so in-game currencies so far are gold cards, gems, shards, star points, elite wild cards, season tokens, and, and trade tokens. This is getting way out of hand. The beauty of CR was a simple game that relies on skill, but now it's becoming more and more of a cash grab update. A lot of people opinion, uh, agreeing with that opinion there. Uh, anyone who doesn't have a max collection, max at least half of it will not get one deck max in six months. 
goodbye to many accounts. Six months? Try like six years. Six years, I would say, right? Uh, so is there no point in adding level 15? Killing the game. So yeah, people seem to be generally pretty upset about this. So guys, in conclusion here, I mean, <laughs> it almost seems like they know this is ridiculous. This is absurd. Like, that sounds like a lot. It is a lot. You know what? We almost don't even want you guys to worry about this. Pretend it never happened. It's a passive experience in the background. Just something to have there in the background, you know? Uh, in the, I mean, listen, to, to max out a whole deck, right? We're going to need, what, 150, uh, 400,000? 400,000 uh, elite wild cards. That's, that's, that's a lot, man. That's a lot to get a whole tech max is going to take years and years and years. Uh, but listen, I mean, if I had to end on a positive note, it's not RNG dependent. We don't need to pull a bomber to upgrade a bomber. Don't need to pull a, a royal giant to upgrade a royal giant. You can just transfer everything to over to elite cards. It doesn't require gold, right? And it's not attached to anything. It's just a clear cash grab basically right but there's not a lot of incentive and they even kind of acknowledge this to even worry about it which is an awkward thing that i don't think i've ever said in 10 years covering superstar games here before guys what do you think are you you know are, are you inclined to say yeah who cares i'm not gonna worry about it or are you somebody who's like dude that's it that's that's ridiculous it, the first time you go against an elite level card, a level 15 card, you're just going to rage and throw your device out the window or something like that. Let me know how you guys feel about all this news today. And uh, stay tuned here for all the Clash Royale update news coming, hey, in, in about a week from now. Thank you for watching. And as always, take care, guys.